So let's graph this linear equation. We have y equals negative 1. So we'll use a table of values, and then we'll talk a little bit about slope-intercept form, how we can use that. So it might be better to think about this as y equals, we don't have an x, we could just call that 0x minus 1. So it's still equal to y equals minus 1, it's just that now we have this form, it might be a little easier to think about. Because if we put 0 in for x, 0 times 0, that's 0, y is just negative 1. If I put 3 in for x, 0 times 3, that's 0, y is still negative 1. And these are just numbers I'm making up. How about negative 6? Negative 6 times x, that's 0. y is still negative 1. So any value that we would put in for x, y is always going to be negative 1. So these are the points that we'll graph here with our table of values for the equation y equals negative 1. So x is 0, y is negative 1. Right there, that's our first point. If x is 3, y is negative 1. So we go to x is 3, y is negative 1. And you can see that any point is going to be on this horizontal line. When x is negative 6, y is negative 1. So let's put a line through this. That gives us our graph here for the equation y equals negative 1. Put arrows to show that this goes to infinity. And that's our graph for y equals negative 1. So we could also think about slope-intercept form to graph this equation here. So we actually have it in slope-intercept form already. y equals mx plus b. Negative 1, that's b. That's our y-intercept. That's right here. And then our slope, m, that's just 0. So we don't have a slope. That means it's a horizontal line here. So that's another way you can think about the equation y equals negative 1. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.